Hi everyone, so this is lesson five, and if you think that the last bit of lesson four was random, then this is just going to blow you, blow your socks off. This is proper, we don't even need this stuff. So in the olden days, when binomial was done with a set of tables, there weren't many p-values. So what he decided was, if your p-value was close to a half, so it gave you something which was moderately symmetrical, so p close to a half, and you had, oh, that's not hard, we uh, And you had lots of data items, so the picture actually looks like a normal distribution. So they say that n is large. Now they say greater than 50, it used to be just greater than 30. <clears throat> and you could approximate the binomial with the normal. But we don't need it because our calculator does it for us anyway. So it's just ridiculous why we're doing this, but never mind. Right, so the mean is NP. So I think we've mentioned that before. Sigma squared is NP 1 minus P. Now you might see it written as NPQ, where Q is 1 minus P. So that means that sigma is the square root of NP. 1 minus p. There. Right, so look on the next page. So there's an example here. So if you look, the mean is 20, because that's in the middle there. Um, it says use estimates for the mu plus sigma. I know over here is three sigmas away in both directions. Now I'd use 30, but the person who did this pack set it so it's 30.5. So we'll use that. But if you put whatever you put on it, it'll be fine. So mu plus three sigmas would be 30.5. Mu is 20. So I can just rearrange it. So I know that mu is 20 and sigma is 3.5. Now normally... I would go from the binomial to the normal, but this is going backwards, so it makes it even worse for not bothering with. So this is going from the normal to the binomial. So I know that mu is NP. So I know that 20 is NP. I know that sigma squared is NP 1 minus P. From the information I've got from the question, my NP is 20 and my sigma is 3.5, so 7 over 2. So my sigma squared will be 49 over 4, I forget as a fraction. So I've got 49 over 4 is 20, 1 minus P. So if I divide 3 by the 20, I've got 49 over 80 is 1 minus p. If I do the rearrange, it's 1 minus 49 over 80. So that's going to be 31 over 80, which the completed pack says is 0.3875. And then if I sub it back into, uh, where is it? Mu equals 20p, I can work out what n is. So go back into mu, which is 20, is n times the 31 over 80. So n's going to be, what's that going to be? 1600 over 31 for n. And if the completed pack is right, that makes it at 51.6 for n. So there you go, I worked out p and I worked out n. So I worked out. So it's one for you. <coughs> Same idea, please work through it. Don't leave a blank. We've got a lot of leaving blanks at the moment. No blanks. Yeah. Remove that. Can't um, actually see the bit to extend the page. It's off the screen. So hopefully that's okay. Uh, and that's everything from that. That's the normal distribution done. So everything's straightforward with um, finding probabilities, uh, even the reverse ones, 
um, where you've got to find mu or sigma, they're not too bad. But this approximation stuff is a bit random. So well done, everyone. Bye-bye.